Well, it's time for the El Clasico of the Indian T20 League, rightly said by Rohit Sharma in game number 41, where Chennai and Mumbai will take on each other. These two teams kicked this year's Indian T20 League off. The first game was played where Chennai actually came out victorious, but the tables have turned Mumbai at the top four right now. Chennai is sitting at the bottom of the table. It still is going to be a high-intensity game like it has always been between both these sides. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys all the important numbers, all the facts, the milestones, all the stats that you guys are going to need before you start watching the game. So without much further ado, let's quickly get into it. Well, let's quickly talk about the head-to-head -head between both these sides. Since 2018, they've met each other seven times and Mumbai have won five of those seven. And like I said before, the season opener was obviously won by Chennai. So it's going to be a great battle to watch out for like always. Let's quickly move on and discuss the venue because this game is going to be played in Sharjah where we can expect to see so many, so many sixes and fours and the average first inning score is around the 188, 190 mark. The teams that have batted second have won and lost the equal number of games almost. So it's not a very uneven battle there so it all depends on which team is playing better cricket on the day let's quickly move on and let's quickly discuss a few very very important numbers well let's quickly talk about a few very important player battles to look out for the first one being Rohit Sharma taking on Deepak Chahar in seven innings he has been dismissed by Chahar twice very similarly Shane Watson versus Jasprit Bumrah in eight innings that they faced each other Watson has been dismissed twice by Bumrah and last but not least MS Dhoni versus Jasprit Bumrah in 12 innings, Dhoni has been dismissed thrice by Bumrah. And the similarity between all these batsmen is the fact that they don't have great numbers. No great strike rates, not great averages. So the bowlers have bested the batsmen on all three player battles. Let's quickly move on and talk about a few very, very important milestones. The first one being Kyron Pollard's because he is... 37 runs away from getting to 3,000 T20 League, Indian T20 League runs representing the Mumbai franchise. He obviously hasn't played for any of the franchise in the Indian T20 League and it is only going to be the second instance after Rohit Sharma to cross that milestone. Speaking of Rohit Sharma, he himself is close to a very, very important milestone. He's only 12 runs short of getting to 4,000 Indian T20 League runs representing the Mumbai franchise and it is an unbelievable feat. He's been an unbelievable cricketer. We all know what these numbers speak. And if if he does get there, it'll be the first person to do so for the Mumbai franchise. Talking about Jasprit Bumrah, last but not least, the man is three wickets away from getting to 100 Indian T20 League wickets representing the Mumbai franchise. Only two other players have more wickets representing this franchise and they are senior pros, veterans, the most experienced bowlers probably in the history of the Indian T20 League, Lasit Malinga and Harbhajan Singh. So that's about it with all the numbers that you guys need to know, the player battles and the milestones. Let's quickly move on and talk about the all-important predicted 11s of both these sides. Let's quickly talk about Mumbai. The only change that we might see in this predicted 11 from the last game is the fact that the likes of a James Pattinson might come back in place of Nathan Coulton. And I still don't see him repra replacing the likes of a Trent Bolt. Wouldn't have a great last game, but that is the only potential change. Mumbai do not like to change their combination a lot. They've gone with this particular 11, a very solid 11, not changing a lot of players throughout the entire course of the tournament. Let's quickly move on to Chennai and see what they might change in their predicted 11. Sai Kishore, the left arm spinner and Jagdish might make a comeback into the side. Obviously, Sai Kishore hasn't played before, but if he does, it'll be a great opportunity for him. Chennai are pretty much done and dusted. The likes of Akedar Jadav, Piyush Chavla, none of these guys have showed any intent there, but these young cricketers might have to be given a little more opportunities and I think it's time for them to experiment with these youngsters, especially considering the fact that they have another Indian T20 league coming up very soon. So these are my predictions for these two teams in, this, in respect of the 11s. Let's quickly move to the other side and talk about what the Crick Tracker audience has decided. Well, I asked the audience which captain they were backing to win this contest and surprisingly, 59% of the people went with MS Dhoni and only 41% went with Rohit Sharma. Considering Rohit Sharma and company are sitting at top of the table, they're in the top four, while MS Dhoni and company are sitting at the bottom of the table. So this is what the audience has decided. Me, always being a Mumbai fan, I'm going to go with the men in blue and not the men in yellow this time around. These are my predictions, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. In the comments, do let me know all your predictions. I've told you this so many times before. And if you already haven't done it, then hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell, and I will see you guys very, very soon with more such videos.